Well, I have a couple of messages. Uh, the first and most important one is that we should s start changing the metaphor of uh, things like the glass ceiling and women being barred from the top to a positive metaphor of uh, the silk road to the top, that women reach the top in their own right with their own uh, tools uh, and also making their own choices in their careers. Well, I think we have made huge progress already if you look at the numbers of women working in the, in the workplace. Um, especially in Europe, around 60% of women are working. So that's, that's a very good development. However, women are still not in the most important positions, the decision-making positions. If you look at the top of companies' boards, only 10% of those board seats are taken by women. So women have become a very important force for the economy uh, to thrive on. However, they don't take the decisions yet. So that will be the, the most important uh, challenge, I think, for the next decade. I have done a couple of things uh, during my own career. First of all, I've started a number of women's networks, uh, both in Europe and in the Netherlands, where I'm from. Uh, but also, I've always tried to lead by example. Uh, so putting women on my management team, making sure that if I'm on a board, that other women can also enter the board. And having those kinds of examples, um, being more as a role model, more, in, more visible in, in the public eye. So I very proactively try to promote women to senior positions all the time. Well, I think if you talk about uh, gender balance on boards and in, generally in, within management teams, it's not only a women's issue, but it's definitely also a men's issue. Um, however, women also uh, need to understand that uh, to get on those boards uh, you really need an extra skill set and we're not always trained to do that. So it is going to be a combination between women's skills and men's uh, objective to also let women in into those uh, organizations. So what is so important of the jump forum is that there's about 10% men here and most of these men are already working in their companies with gender diversity programs uh, and hopefully they'll get some more and new inspiration here when they're here at the forum to take that within their company. Well, the two quota or not to quota debate has become a very yes-no debate and I don't think that's going to help us progress any further. Um, if you look at quota legislation, the most extreme example is Norway, uh, but there's a lot of other countries that have taken uh, measures now to implement uh, targets, uh, so they're not in, in law, but more in, in terms of corporate governance codes or, for instance, in companies' targets to achieve uh, certain numbers of women in certain levels. So, if you talk about quota as a measure of law, I'm against that, but if you talk about quota as targets to reach uh, certain objectives, I'm all for it because in business life there's one thing that counts, if it gets measured, it gets done. My new book, The Silk Road to the Top, uh, is based on the metaphor of uh, the Silk Road, which connected the East and the West in ancient times and brought prosperity to both worlds, so both the East and the West. And that's also how I see men and women in leadership united to create prosperity for both society and for companies. And in The Silk Road to the Top, I try to analyze the patterns that women encounter during their way to the top and I try to analyze them and give them strategies to deal with them more effectively, to become better leaders. <laughs>